Right, hi there everybody. So I've just finished creating my grade 10 2019 class notebook for next year and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm using Microsoft OneNote. We have Microsoft Teams and OneNote set up at school so I'm going to be working with that um, exclusively from next year and this is for my new grade 10 class I don't know how many students I'm getting yet I think it's uh, between 20 and 30 and I don't know who they are yet so I've got like a demo student there but there's nothing there at the moment to look at anyway let me show you what we've got this is the first page of the notebook we've got the welcome page over here we've got some hyperlinks over there um, they can look at the textbook so well let me take you through it there's the textbook there's the uh, you know do you have this textbook etc there is a little bit about me like hey how you doing I'm your new teacher welcome to cat it's the best and all that stuff okay so I'm going to show you two parts of this the one is the content library and the other one is the teacher only section now let me show you why I've got this the teacher only section is for me as a teacher to put all my stuff and all the tests and assessments and notes that I will eventually give out to the students so if we take a look here, you can see I've broken it down to three sections or three tabs. I've got theory activities, theory tasks, and theory assessments. In my activities, working from the study ops textbook, I've got all the written module activities that I want them to be able to do. And I will simply, when it's time for them to do the activity, I will then just copy this into their relevant tab on each of my students. And I can do this all in one go with OneNote, which is actually quite cool. So I have prepared every written module activity that I want them to do already in OneNote. And all they have to do is click and just type away. That's all they have to do. So they don't have to go and work in any other applications. Everything can take place inside of OneNote. So I've got all my roots and module activities done, ready to rock and roll. Then the theory tasks. As you can see, I've got a couple of tasks here. Again, everything is, I, I've kept a convention the same. So uh, the module, the, uh, if it's a task, I write the word task, etc. There's more than one task, there's task one, task two. Um, I don't have those here. So here, for example, the very first task, they follow all these instructions. There's a file I put into my um, SharePoint. They can just download that to work with it. They finish, they then simply copy that zip file up into this little box here. I just made this box, it's not an actual box or anything, they just drag it into this area. It's just a visual guideline so they know where to put their file. It also helps them to submit their files into their OneNote file for me. There's a mark sheet. So everything I need is here. Okay, here are all my tasks, rubrics, another task over there, and the files that they need. All their files are here. I mean, they could just download that right away. I've created these for them. There's a nice Flipgrid activity I'm using as well. Can't wait to try that out. And some more over here. Okay, so that's theory activities. That's all the written modules, all my tasks that I've made, and then assessments. These are for marks. So uh, tasks and assessments are for marks. And uh, with assessments, I've done a couple of them in Microsoft Forms, simply because we're a Microsoft school. All their accounts are Microsoft, so it, it kind of collates all the results, keeps everything for me nice and clean. Uh, here's another task that I'll be marking with the rubric. There it is there. There's another one, that, that's a Kahoot game, I think. Yes, it is. And here we have some more self-marking forms. So this will kind of get some marks in nice and quick and also see how they're doing in terms of their assessment. Now, that was the teacher only section. And again, just to remind you, I will take these sections as I need them and copy them. This black, for example, I'll copy this page to all the students in one go when it's time to do that activity. I won't just give them everything in advance because that's asking for trouble. Okay. The content library. This is my favorite. Here we go. The content library is pretty much where they access everything and I can put whatever they need in the content library. This really helps so that you don't have to go and put everything in every student's file or folder. It, it's a waste of time to do that and it takes up way too much space. Also takes a long time to synchronize the document. So the content library, you put whatever you want in there. It's accessible by every student in your class. So I've broken it down into to, according to the uh, study ops textbook again I've got section one here is section one I have a little overview to tell them what it's about and all the activities and assessments and tasks that they will be doing for this module 
and as you can see they will click over there it tells them what they will be doing and there's a file that they can have access to if they want to revise something so all the modules are here all the PowerPoint files are there and of course in my teachers section I've got the uh, assessments and activities ready and waiting for them there's section number two again you can see everything they need to know is there everything they need every module is there I could probably do a little bit more with these but for the moment this is basic access now section three Microsoft Word to not you know complicate things too much I've tried to make it a little easier in terms of a structure here they can see that these are all the activities that they need to complete through the course of the year okay it's not like one term this is the whole year in advance I tell them where their files are. this is where Microsoft Teams comes in I've chosen to keep their files their data files in the team um, because putting it here into the notebook means it takes a lot longer to synchronize and download and they've got uh, access if they got access to their OneNote notebook they've got access to teams as well so that's where I've made a decision to put all their data files in the teams I've also made sure that this folder and all the files there are read only so they cannot add anything or erase or edit anything they have to download it into their own folder and then they will then um, copy it into uh, their OneNote file for me there are videos this is just for them if they are not in class or they're somewhere else they want to just go over basically I've identified various videos that cover some of the concepts and the topics in the various modules in cat for grade 10 and I've placed them here they're all just linking to the videos online they're not embedded on the, the pages at all so you do need internet access in order to do that but it will really help if they need access to something very quickly and they can't remember how to do it and here at the end I put a little overview just so that they know okay for the end of grade 10 uh, for grade uh, sorry for uh, word they can have a look and see okay these are all the skills these are all the things I need to be able to do this is straight out of the caps document all right and I've done then the same thing for Excel there's my Excel section all the activities that they will be doing uh, are there okay all the practical modules are there there are some videos based on the modules that they have in their textbook and of course an Excel grade 10 overview as well with all and I've done the same thing with PowerPoint because they do PowerPoint in grade 10 section 6 and 7 are slightly different section 6 is uh, information management as we know and so it's it's kind of just a couple of activities now you must understand that these activities that I've chosen in fact any activities like the written modules that we've done the practical activities these are activities that I've chosen out of my own preference okay it's not all the activities from the entire textbook they're just activities from my experience that I have found work better and that the students relate to better so that's why I've chosen the activities that I have chosen to do okay so section 6 is here and again it's the same thing as the other modules section 7 this is completely different because this is sort of more towards the end of the year for me and I ask them to kind of go through the stuff together they can either work with a partner or do it on their own and then I kind of guide them this is more when we have time I don't always focus a lot on doing this module in class I find this module to be more beneficial when they're studying for the exams and that in a nutshell is my library so the library is there everything they need is there the the teacher only section is here and I'm gonna try and share this with all of you when I get a chance or when I figure out how and if you want to replicate this and go for it have a have a shot and uh, see what you can do maybe you can make it look better as well I'm really not very good at design so thank you for watching and please you know, I would love a comment or two on what you think about this and if there's some ways that I can maybe streamline it a bit more thanks so much